The NTSB is now joining the investigation into the Titanic sub tragedy. They're trying to figure out what went terribly wrong, killing all five people on board. This comes as there are new questions about the safety of that sub. ABC's Melissa Don has the latest, including what one man who almost ended up on that sub is now saying. An investigation into the catastrophic implosion of the Ocean Gate submersible is ongoing after the journey to tour the Titanic wreckage ended in tragedy for the five on board. I'm sure they won't be able to say we're 100% sure that this exact thing is the cause. Industry experts had warned OceanGate's experimental approach of using carbon fiber construction could lead to catastrophe for Titan. But CEO Stockton Rush pushed forward with his sub without certification, what they call classing. We've made thousands and thousands and thousands of dives and have never had an incident. So this is the first time, and the smoking gun is this is the first time by a submarine that wasn't classed. In videos, Stockton Rush seen promoting his sub in the material used like this acrylic window. A financer from Las Vegas says for months, Rush was trying to sell him and his son two seats on the Titan, offering to knock $100,000 off the $250,000 price. When Jay told him his son had safety concerns, Rush responding, I'm happy to have a video call with him, curious what the uninformed would say the danger is and whether it's real or imagined. I think he was pretty uh, dismissive about some of, the, some of the risks and the dangers, but uh, he was a good guy, and I think it comes from he just had a lot of conviction for his project. Instead, another father and son bought two seats, Shazada Daoud and his 19-year-old son, Solomon. Their family heartbroken. A defense official tells ABC News families had been told at some point during the search that the Navy had detected the sound of a possible implosion, but it wasn't definitive proof, so the Coast Guard kept searching. Melissa Don, Channel 6 Action News.